Hey friends, happy weekend. We made it through another week. I want to thank you first uh, for clicking on my video and leaving kind comments and supporting my channel. It means so, so much to me. I had a long week, uh, wondering how yours were, what was the highlight of your week. Spring has finally, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say sprung here, but it's definitely on the horizon. We have had 70s the last couple days, but we're in that weird phase where it's, you know, 40s one day and 70s the next. Well, we've got hope, you know. I'm a summer baby. If it could be summer all year round, I'd be in paradise. I'm going to tell you about uh, our wine this week, which is Estella Rosa Red. Estella Rosa was highly requested on our channel. When I highly requested means two people. But that's highly requested for me. Um, one of my good childhood friends, she swears by this uh, Stella Rosa Red. And then another friend of mine here on YouTube, Kim, she's a, fran a fan of the brand too. So I said I'd, I'd have to try it. I had some last night. Um, and I started drinking a little bit too early. I had had some company. And uh, by the time I got on to record the videos, I was just in too silly a mood. I could not, uh, I was rambling and the video just came out too silly. And I said, you know, I can probably do better, <laughs> the, you know, today. But, um, so I'm going to just tell you my impressions or my thoughts about the Stella Rosa Red. Let me know if you've tried it before. Um, on the back, it's on a scale of 1 to 10. It's written here, uh, 1 being dry and 10 being sweet. It's marked as number 5, as a semi-sweet wine. For my palate, it was very sweet. Um, tastes like a fruit punch, really good flavor and beautiful smell. Oh, it smells just delicious. But if you're a fan of a sweeter wine, give the Stella Red a try. It was good for me to try this not only because it does taste good, but it helps me on my wine journey kind of navigate my own taste. So now I know that I, I generally will steer a little closer to a drier wine than a, than a sweet wine. But, you know, I'm open to different tastes and flavors depending on, you know, the scene or the mood. Um, so with that in mind, if you guys know of or have any recommendations for a wine that's a little bit dry or drier, I think that's the avenue that I'll take and I'll start exploring some of those kinds of wines. So leave any uh, recommendations that you have. It's uh, also like a, sp a slightly sparkling wine as well. So it's a sparkling sweet red and uh, it's this Stella has some, some decent flavor. If you've tried it, let me know. I had was it Thursday night? Yeah, Thursday night I had a second date with the uh, guy from last week. We had had uh, restaurant reservations at this place called Tommy Bahama. Um, he had heard me talk about seafood and took the initiative to book us a reservation at uh, this Tommy Bahama place. When I mapped it out and did my research. It looked like it was about an hour commute each way. And so I texted him. I said, what do you think about just coming over? We'll have a glass of wine together. I had had some food catered earlier. And so I said, oh, I've got dinner covered. You know, I've got stuff that I know you'll like. So come on over and hang with me. And he did. He did. And we had, uh, we had a good time, good conversation, and it was about 76 degrees. It was like one of the first good weather days that we've had out here in Dallas. 
And so it was nice to have someone to sit out and just chill, enjoy the breeze, and, and chat with. He gave me some good recommendations. Um, I've got some clothes that I need to get tailored, some thrift items that I, I bought that I want to get taken in, some let out. And he gave me some good feedback. He also asked me for some recommendations of some things to watch. And you know, that's right up my alley. So I shared some, some of the things that I'm uh, catching up on now. He was really cute. He was excited. He had watched the Medea Homecoming and he was excited to give me his review. Now he didn't like the movie at all, but he was excited to share his thoughts and tell me why. And I thought that was cute. But we had a good conversation. We sat outside for about two hours. Um, the conversation was really friendly, if you catch my drift. So I think we will, you know, we'll become good friends and be able to hang out. Um, but that was nice. It was nice to sit out and, and enjoy the weather and, you know, just chat. Speaking of outside and weather, one of the things I'm thinking about, and I want some, need some of your input on, I'm thinking about starting just a little garden patio, a little patio garden. I don't have a lot of outdoor space, uh, just a nice size patio, and I want to grow two or three veggies. So when you guys started growing uh, for the first time, what are some suggestions of good of starter veggies, things that are easy to tend, um, you know, um, have a good grow season, even if you're not familiar with the climate here in North Texas and the Dallas area, what did you start with the first time that you grew something and what was your experience? I've got this idea that I can get seeds at like the Dollar Tree or a store like that. Am I, am I crazy for thinking that? Where would you buy yours? Give me your recommendations. I, I'm pretty sure I could go to Walmart to their nursery section, you know, and get seeds. So that's also always an option, but I want to get your your feedback. One of my coworkers was telling me that she uh, she and her husband had just bought, I think, three and a half or three point eight acres, right outside of Covington, Kentucky. And today, Saturday, they've got uh, their third builder coming out to give them an estimate. She says it's been a mess. Uh, the market is so saturated and it's been hard to get a builder to come out and commit. But she sent me these beautiful pictures of the land and um, it's really hilly and there's a gorgeous wooded area on the property. And I just, my wheels just got to ticking and I said, I could see myself, you know, uh, with a big dog, you know, just wandering and walking the property. And I'd love to have a dog that was kind of free range, you know, that you didn't have to keep, you know, fenced in necessarily. But she sent me these gorgeous, gorgeous pictures and, um, you know, it was really inspiring. So I can't wait Monday or Tuesday when we, she and I catch up again to see how everything went. She said she was going to take some more pictures this weekend. She's really excited. I have a dream one day, um, probably in Arizona, to buy um, just a couple acres. You know, no, no more than that is, is good for me. And, and then, you know, have a nice size garden, a nice patch you know, around the house. Not on the full acreage, because I'm not going to maintain that. Um, but just, you know, a nice garden. They, their, you know, warm season is another, you know, eight, nine months. You know, it's, it's summer a lot in Arizona. So I thought that would be conducive to, to growing. So long story short, I want to dip my toe in and, you know, get started. Um, grow something for myself here for the springtime first and uh, get a feel for it. So any tips that you guys have? I, I do not have a green thumb at all. 
And so, you know, any advice you can give me, I'm, I'm here for. My plan, it's been so far, it's been a, a lazy weekend. But my plan is to go thrifting either later this afternoon or tomorrow before I have to go back to work Monday. There's a guy here on YouTube that I follow. His name is Nicholas Fairford. He's got a big channel, a couple, you know, two, three hundred subscribers, I believe. But he did a home tour and showed uh, some of his spring decor. And specifically what I fell in love with, he had these white pillows that had uh, these the silhouette of a rabbit on it in navy blue. And I just thought it was so beautiful and so refined um, and so calming. I want to run out. I'm going to start at... Uh, the thrift store, and then maybe go to Home Goods too to see if it's a trend, to see if it's something that's been pulled out for spring. Um, and if not, I just want to find something that puts me in, in the mind frame of this decor that I, I saw. So next time I come on, you know, maybe I'll have a, a decent thrift haul we can look at. I, I love hauls and those are fun videos on YouTube. So, but yeah, guys, I, I, uh, I'm not going to be on, you know, long. Um, let me know if you've ever tried this Stella Rosa Red, what your thoughts were if you tried it. If you are a fan of a drier wine, you know, give me your recommendations because now, you know, I'm, I'm learning my palate a little bit and I know the the lane that I'm in, if that makes sense. Give me your gardening tips. What's a good start? I mean, for someone who's never really grown before, where should I start? Carrots, peas, you know, etc. And, uh, you know, I'm watching on YouTube. I'm watching the, uh, not on YouTube, I'm sorry, but on Netflix, I'm watching that uh, true crime mini series. Uh, the Worst Roommate Ever. Have you guys watched that? It's wild. It's wild and, and fun. If you're into and you can take some true crime, um, give it a watch. I'm also watching, uh, Netflix has a new series out called The Dropout, which uh, is about the Elizabeth Holmes Theranos scandal, where she created that faulty blood test and got investors on the hook for billions and billions of dollars. I think because of inventing Anna and how big a success that was, you know, other networks are jazzed to get out their, you know, fraud uh, shows. So I'm checking that one out. I'm on episode two and uh, enjoying it so far. Amanda Seyfried stars in it. So if you've checked that one out, come back and let me know your thoughts on that as well. But I just wanted to come on and say happy weekend. Cheers to you. I've had, you know, I've had my quota of wine. It's otherwise, we would be sipping together. But I did want to come on and say hi and just see how you guys were. I thank you all so much for the support on my recent videos. And uh, give this video a like, if you will. Leave me a comment. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you're new for more movie, TV, and sometimes chatty-related content. And I'll see you guys in a few days. Cheers.